Bass Sharks. I'm Nick Oleksak, and this is my wife, Elise, and we're the creators of Bantam Bagels from New York City on a mission to change, change the, the way, way you bagel. bagel. We're Woo. here today asking for $275,000 in exchange for 11% equity stake in our company. As Columbia University graduates, we have lived in New York City for over 10 years now. So it's fair to say that we love a good New York bagel. But those huge, doughy, high-calorie monsters, they're such a commitment. And we'd find ourselves fighting the same battle, to bagel or not to bagel. <laughs> About two years ago, a dream woke me up in the middle of the night. It was a vision of something revolutionary, mini, Bagel balls filled with cream cheese. Wow. We knew that if we started with an authentic New York style bagel and finished with high quality, unique cream cheeses, that Phantom Bagels would be more than just another flash in the pan food fad. We are now ready to take our one of a kind bagels from coast to coast. So, Sharks, we ask you are, are you, you ready, ready to change, change the way, way you bagel? bagel? <laughs> What's the game plan? What do you need, my 275? What are you going to do? Okay, we knew at the beginning that we would have to try a couple different strategic avenues. So we started off thinking this retail channel, that's right for us. So we, we tested it out. We killed it. The revenue was incredible. Margins, not so much. So we smartened up and said, we better try a different channel. We clawed and scratched and got our way into um, some pretty big wholesale avenues, which we have been Ooh. the- So our um, biggest wholesale account is QVC. 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 How well are you selling on QVC? Our first time on air, we sold out in five minutes. How much have you guys invested of your own of your money, and where did it come from? Fifty thousand dollars of our own money, and then you know to start this, we had to raise money. So we're both from Wall Street. Where did you work in Wall Street? What'd you do? I worked at Morgan Stanley in asset management, and I'm actually still currently working as a credit broker at GFI Group. Nick, do you make a lot of money on Wall Street? I'm just curious. I mean, I don't know what you six say. figures. Yes, honestly, I am so ready to not work on Wall Street. Here's my challenge with you guys. You know, you're making the kind of money today that most people who come on the tank would only dream of. And there's a lack of desperation that you get when you're making six figures and have money. You need that sense of desperation. But Robert, I, it's, it's so wrong because what you're saying here is that none of us here could be good entrepreneurs anymore. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying at all, Mark. What I'm saying is- We can't is, do a startup? What I'm saying is this is a fantastic idea they're trying too many things. And we're willing to listen to your insight. We're coachable. You know, if one of you felt like this is it, this is the way to go, we trust Guys, that. Guys, that's the problem. You just said we're coachable. You don't yet know where the best place to go is. I think you'll figure it out, but it's gonna be expensive, time consuming. I don't wanna be in that circumstance in the bagel business because I don't think I can provide that direction for you. So for those reasons, I'm out. I think you're gonna go through a lot of different tries Wish you all the best. I'm out. I'm going to make you an offer. Oh. Here's my offer. I'll give you the 275, but I want 51% of your business. Go! I'm going to tell you why it's a great offer. Because you're not going to succeed without me. Well, we appreciate your offer, Barbara. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, here's what I'm going to do. There's only three things that you have to do to be successful. One, you have to quit your job. Two, you have to do a commercial kitchen, not own it. You have to find one that already exists because you don't have enough time to build your own, right. okay? And three, you have to be direct to consumer. If you do all of those, I'll give you the 275 for 50%. Now that's two people in that your makes business no sense. telling you that we need that kind of partnership to make this make any sense. Okay, I have an offer. Here's my offer, $275,000 for 30%. Would you be interested in 25%? I'll give you a third. I would if you decide right now with me. You, you have a deal. All right. Let's see how they're doing now. Phantom Bagels is a dream that I had in the middle of the night that has come into an unbelievable reality. We pitched on Shark Tank, we had done $200,000 in sales in four months. In four years, we've done $45 million in sales. We now have three product lines and we're in over 10,000 doors. On behalf of the entire team here, we are absolutely thrilled 
Bantam Bagels has just been acquired for $34 million by T. Marzetti. This is the kind of deal that every entrepreneur dreams of. They got a $34 million buyout, plus they get to stay in running the business as the innovators. Nick and Elise, welcome to your new family. Every entrepreneur wants to invent something that lasts. It's like somebody created the croissant, somebody created the English muffin, and Nick and Elise have created the Bantam Bagels, and it's their legacy. You guys are the best. Five years ago, we gave up our steady jobs on Wall Street to start Bantam Bagels in our small apartment kitchen in Brooklyn. With this deal, we have the opportunity to grow Bantam Bagels to be the household brand we know it can be. This is just the beginning.